Man, I really need to start lifting weights. <laughs> Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we are looking at Namer, the Submariner. And here is his uh, Submariner, Submariner, excuse me. So here is his box with the trident in the background, trident on top, Namer on the side, and Namer on the side again. Folks, I'll be completely honest here with you. I saw this and knew right away this is going to be the figure that I did not want of this wave. I wanted to hate this figure. I only want it for one reason, the trident and the extra head uh, because it's basically a naked man, which I've always cool with Neymar looking like that, but I just hated this head scope. Hated it. Hated it. I just did not like, I know some people love it because it's very, very reminiscent of the original appearance which I give him credit for doing. Hasbro, good job. But I got the figure. I messed around with him. And like I said in my earlier review about the previous namer, I just dig it. I mean, it's it's dope. I mean, and since I found my phone, someone tried calling me while I was doing the review, so it cut short. But back to what I was saying, this is dope, folks. This This figure looks awesome. Um, I like the molding. When are you ever really going to get a figure with nipples? That's awesome. He's got nipples. Hey, hey, it's good. It's good. It's also got his wings on his feet, you know, looking cool. Very nice definition. I'm kind of jealous. I need to hit the gym after looking at this figure. Um, I actually dig the bikini pants, you know, they're scaled. Um, and it's got the little shell there. Um, and the trident. I didn't, a lot of people hated the Trident from the last figure. Um, I didn't, I loved it, but this one is better. Although this one can still use some color, this one is better. So there's that. Um, one other thing that he comes with is his head, his bearded head. And I think this bearded head is probably one of the best Namor heads or heads period in Marvel Legends. And here, just for comparison, is the previous namer that I also thought I would not like that I ended up liking. So you can see the difference in the tridents. This trident here, the new trident, makes this one look pathetic. Um, although the older one is a little bit longer and has more paint, which I do alike. Um, the other figure is still a great namer, though. Um, this is more current to the comics, um, especially during the X-Men and Illum Illuminati run. Um, I have some Namor comics hidden somewhere. I can't find them at the moment because it was back in 2004. So you know how that goes. But I did have something very important because this Namor is the Black Panther wave. Um, and Black Panther and Namor used to be really close. So it's really kind of funny that they went, they used to be close. And this is the event where they stopped being close. Um, Namor attacked Wakanda. Um, as one of the Phoenix Five, and I'll, I'll say this, you know, he he looked dope doing it. There's he, there he is right there, attacking Wakanda, and you can imagine attacking Wakanda will, you know, basically make you an enemy of uh, Black Panther for forever. And just one more shot, Namor was defeated, lost his Phoenix Force powers, and became and the Phoenix Force powers went to Cyclops, Emma Frost, uh, Colossus, and Magic. But, um, yeah, that book is definitely worth picking up. Um, it's a great event, um, and the art is amazing. So, back to Namor. Um, cool figure, uh, cool character. I dig it. I think both are equally about as good as they can possibly be um, for the price tag. Let's show the helmet, the hair that I like better, because this one's not bad. I mean, it grew on me. I still would not display it like that, just because I'm not really a fan of that head. Um, even though it's accurate, I'm a fan of this head. That's awesome to me. That's, man, that's, that's good. But it probably would look better to switch these two. Even though he didn't have a beard during the X-Men run, I'm pretty sure he 
probably would have been better off having one. So, there's that. Um, another cool thing is, Namor's getting ready to join the X-Men for a second time if you follow comics. Because Jean Grey is getting her own book where she'll actually have her own X-Men team. Um, and just because I've been to comics and you guys might be too, there's her team called, well that's her book, it's called X-Men Red. Don't have a picture of the team right now, but Namor is part of it. And if you know anything about Namor, he is all about getting down with the females, especially if they're blind. Uh, but Redhead, so I'm sure he'll probably try to have a thing with uh, with uh, Jean, not Jean Grey, yeah, Jean Grey, because um, he has a thing about trying to take Cyclops' girl, just like Wolverine. Um, but again, I, I digress. Get the figure, great figure, great uh, run. These Marvel Legends here, and since I'm in the mood, let's put them in scale from my favorite to last, and going from least favorite to favorite, and. I really do emphasize the least favorite to favorite because all of these are great figures. All of these I would buy again if something happened to them. Um, just because this is probably, this would have been my favorite wave of all of 2017 by far. Um, so it's a good thing I got in 2018 because that gives, you know, this year a good place to start with. Um, my least favorite is Okoye. Um, and that's because she is a build figure. She's awesome 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 uh figure i love this but again because you are the builder figure um you do have to lose some points for that uh, because i would love to have seen a bigger one although i am glad they included her so that's my least favorite from there we go to to black boat which i never would imagine he'd be this low in this wave and that's strictly because he ended up having some QC problems. I told you about the wrist here, the wings there that don't fold in or can't be taken off, the fact that he's blue, not black, his mouth is blue, and there's no reason for that. That's why he almost was the bottom uh, figure of this wave, but, you know, because of the build figure debunko, um, he is not. And usually I don't, I don't put build figures in, you know, wave ratings, but since she's the same scale. There you go. Um, followed by that is uh, Namor. Um, great figure. Love it. So that's why he's close to the middle. Um, just talk about him. After that, Nakia. Some of you might be surprised that she's this, you know, in the middle ground or upper middle. The face, folks. That face is just so good that I don't know. I just, I love it. I mean, I, I love it. You know, so that's why she's there. Then we've got Invincible Iron Man. I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. Um, had he come with like another head or, oh, well, he has two heads. Had it, he's not really missing anything. He can't be much better. So I'll say that. It's just that these last two were that good. I mean, yeah, I could be mad all day that I don't get the Killmonger um, face, you know, and... And outside this costume, but man, is this a cool costume and do they do it justice? So that's why that's my number two. And you can't have a Black Panther wave without Black Panther. So he is easily my number one um, because Black Panther is one of my favorite Marvel comic characters of all time. Top five for sure. Uh, so yeah, very happy with this wave. And who knows what may come in the next review. Thanks for watching. Peace.